Hi everyone, today I'm doing my March wrap up and my April TBR. It's not the end of March, there are still about five days left of March while I'm filming this, but I can already tell March was a really good month for me. I read four books so far and I'm kind of reading like three books at the moment. I don't know why I'm reading so much at the moment, but I'm for sure going to finish one of them, so I'm gonna say that I read about five books for March. I'm predicting, but I for sure read four already. So the first book that I read was Half Bad by Sally Green and I did a full review on this book so I'll just put the link below so I don't reiterate everything I already said but yeah it was a pretty decent book so if you're interested in that you can go and check out the link. The second book that I read, this was actually the first book that I read this month, was Divergent. I don't have it right now, I loaned it out to a friend but I absolutely loved it. I am such a big Divergent fan now. And I saw the movie, I love the movie, so I'll put the link below to my movie review if you want to check that out also. The third book I read was Lockdown, and this is by Alexander Gordon Smith. I checked this out kind of on a whim. I heard a little bit about it, or I saw a little bit about it on Book Outlet. So I decided to check it out, and it was pretty good. This book is about a boy who is locked up in a juvenile prison. I don't really know if it's too much in the future. The future, or the prison is kind of futuristic or dystopian-like, but everything else kind of seems the same. It's probably a little further into the future, but he's locked up in a juvenile prison, and he's been framed, and... There's, it's just a crazy, crazy prison, like, there's creatures and monsters and it kind of seems like experiments and it kind of seems paranormal, but I'm not sure. The book left on a really big cliffhanger and I believe there's five or six books in the series, so I'm gonna check the other, the next one out later and see what happens, but it was a pretty good book. And finally, the last book I read so far this month was The Here and Now by Anne Brashares. This is actually an ARC that I received from Seventeen Magazine, and I tabbed it up because I'm going to be doing a review on it after this video, so you can keep an eye out for that. But this is about a girl, and she's from the future. Her and a bunch of other people time travel back to present day because there has been various epidemics that, like, totally, completely destroyed earth. I mean, not totally, but the majority of the population in the future is dead because of the diseases. There's a bunch of rules they have to follow, but one of the big rules is not to fall in love with anyone from present day, and there is a boy involved, so it is a sci-fi thriller, and it was so, so, so good. So keep an eye out for my review so you can learn more about this book. So like I said, I'm in the process of reading like three or four books. I started two and then I kind of wanted to read something else. I don't think I'm going to finish those. I was reading uh, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, which is good. I just, I wasn't in the mood to read it. I rented it from the library, so I think I'm going to give it back and rent it again later. I rented Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout and oh my gosh, I'm a third of the way done. I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish it this month because I'm just loving it so much. So that's what I read in March and what I'm probably going to finish the month up with. So yeah, March was a pretty good month. And then for my April TBR, I also borrowed Onyx and Opal, which is the second and third in the Lux uh, series. I'm pretty sure I'm going to move on to these after Obsidian just because it's so good and I think I'm really going to want to find out what happens. I'm also in the process of reading Insurgent by Veronica Roth, which is the second in the Divergent trilogy. I'm about 100 pages in. I really, really love it and I was I jumped right into it after Divergent, but I found Obsidian so I kind of got distracted. But I'm probably going to read this in April right after I read the rest of the Lux books. That's already three books that I have to read in April. I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have, uh, but I'm probably going to read maybe one or two more, but it depends. I don't really know exactly. I have so much books that I want to read, and my mood changes, and I don't know. There's just so much things. I have books coming in the mail. I have some awesome books back here, so we'll see what I read besides those for next month. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you read this month or what you're planning to read for April. I would love to know. I love getting new ideas for what books to buy or what books to read from your guys' comments. So happy reading and I'll see you guys later. Bye!